the Oscars? Was it the Oscars? What was it? What was that award show yesterday? What was that? Golden Globes? It was one of the award shows. One of those happened yesterday. And guys, <laughs> there is some marketing involved with this and rock music. You know, we got to understand this, first of all. We got to understand that right now, let's be honest, rock music is not where it was back 20 years ago. Heck, it wasn't even where it was 10 years ago for that, for that matter. So there's some marketing that has to be done in terms of the rock world. And one of the goofiest things, man, they ended up going to play on a song during this award ceremony of um, one of the songs that was in the Barbie movie with Ryan Gosling doing this. I don't know. It kind of reminded me of the dance that Miss Piggy ended up doing in uh, what was the Muppets Take Manhattan, the Muppet movie, something like that. That's what it reminded me of. And I'm like, oh, my God. And we see Slash take the stage. And I'm sitting over there going, oh, gosh, this is embarrassing. And then we see Wolfgang Van Halen out there with Slash. And now, first of all, just seeing that, I was like, Slash and Wolfie, they get along. That's cool. I'm down with that. You know, and so the thing is, uh, I, why in the world? Uh, what's the name of the song? Like, I Am Ken or something like that? It's a song by the Ken doll. <laughs> oh, now I do understand this. I do understand that there is marketing involved whenever it comes to stuff like this. There were a lot, you know, Slash ended up doing a song on the soundtrack. And. Wolfgang Van Halen um, was on the red carpet with his mother. The lovely, lovely, still lovely. Oh my gosh, I thought she was so cute and hot in Cleveland. The lovely Valerie Bertinelli. They were on the red carpet and there were some things that were kind of revealed about his contributions to the soundtrack, the theatrical soundtrack, not the one with the full length songs, but some of the stuff that was going on in the background of the movie. I did not see the movie. Still not going to see the movie. Sorry. Mm, not my thing. Not my thing. But I did find this to be rather interesting. Let's go ahead and go to the clip. Clip number one, go. We're usually um, in our PJs on the sofa watching the Oscars. So. <laughs> well, why are you here? Uh, I'm here to support uh, my good buddy Mark Ronson and uh, his contribution to the Barbie soundtrack. And, and your contribution to the soundtrack? Sure, yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> I mean, he's all through it. During the fight scene, during the, you know, the Ken scene, he's in, you know, I'm just Ken. I'll shut up. Sorry, Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, please. <laughs> no, I, I, Mark had me on, uh, so he, there's a bunch of guitar parts I play throughout the, the course of the, of the movie and stuff. So, like, if you've seen the, uh, uh, the fight scene, on the beach, that guitar solo that happens with the tapping and stuff, that's me. <laughs> so during the car chase scene, that's Wolfie. Now, wait a minute. Are you going to be joining them on stage for I'm Just Ken? Oh, no. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a magical night. I'm just here to support my buddy Mark and Andrew and uh, their incredible job they did on this uh, soundtrack. And wh what do you make, like, when you heard, like, the final soundtrack and obviously you see all of the um, award season attention it's received. What have you made of it? I, I just couldn't believe it. I remember hearing when the movie was coming out and it was just like, wow, that, that seems like it's going to be cool. And then just getting the ask and then seeing what has happened since is kind of uh, unbelievable. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So as I said earlier, Wolfgang Van Halen did indeed take the stage with Slash and he contributed a lot of stuff in the background of the movie. Now, first of all, like I said, like I said, like I said, the Ryan Gosling song, eh, kind of gay or, or extremely gay. I was questioning Ryan Gosling's sexuality for that performance, but you get Slash and Wolfgang out there. And it's like, okay, we're going to make this a little bit more manly. But Wolfie says, you know, I'm not going to take the stage with Slash. 
Um, Mark Rosin, for those who don't know, is a very popular pop producer. He lives in that pop realm right now doing the Lady Gaga's, the Katy Perry's, all of that stuff. Not my style of music. I'm sorry. However, I did like Lady Gaga's contribution to the movie uh, Star is Born. I thought that was really good. That was a really good remake. I enjoyed that. The end of it. Oh, my gosh. That's that kind of shocked me a bit. And, um, you know, it was good to see Andrew Dice Clay at back out there. But, you know, People Magazine in this clip, I, I uploaded this clip from the People Magazine YouTube video. And they say, the, the title was like Wolfie Lied. About the, you got to understand this, first of all. You got to understand how it is in this world, in the world of entertainment, in the world of music. You got to understand how this works. We didn't know who was going to be on Slash's blues album until Friday. We got it a day early. You know, we talked about that over here. We find that out a day early. But the general public did not know until Friday. Okay? So the thing is, you know, the, the headline for People Magazine. Now, People Magazine, they pay more attention to what is happening in the world of entertainment, movie, TV, all that stuff. More so than I do, but even I understand how this works, okay? If you're a special guest on something, if Michael Jackson was supposed to go and take the stage, say that he was still alive, Michael Jackson was to take the stage during the Oscar performance, shh, don't tell anybody. There are contractual issues in terms of this. You are being told by the Academy saying, nope, 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 nope. Don't say a thing. Hey, you know what? Eh, for his rock cred, it might be a little bit better if he didn't say anything, to be perfectly honest. But, you know, I I know I'm being a little hard on Wolfie here. I understand. I'm sorry. But the thing is that the Barbie movie, it was going to be huge. It's a steaming pile of garbage from what I understand, but it was going to be huge. People like steaming piles of garbage nowadays. And so the thing is that in the rock world, this shows you where we are at right now in the world of rock. Yeah, the big names go and sell out all the stadiums. ACDC, um, uh, Guns N' Roses, Bleak 182. They sell out everywhere they go. You know, the arenas are always packed when these guys come to town. So in terms of that, but these, but these people that are going are my age or older. I'm 43 years old. These guys tend to be my age or older. When I go to those shows, like when I go see Sammy Hagar uh, this summer and Lover Boys opening up for... Um, for Sammy. The thing that I know is that I'm going to be one of the youngest people there, 43 years old. There might be a couple people, you know, a little bit younger than myself, but the fans of this music are dying. Why? Because rock isn't really that innovative anymore. When Jimi Hendrix came upon the scene, he was very innovative, very innovative. And so it brought it up to new heights, Black Sabbath. Same with them. Same with Led Zeppelin. Same with Van Halen. In the 80s, prime stuff right there. You know, we can debate on that. But, you know, the thing is that there was an innovation, a new style of music that was being brought. And the whole thing with it is that in the 60s, you had the socially conscious. In the 70s, you kind of had, well, we're going to mix a little bit of Gordon Lightfoot and go and do songs about... um fairies and hobbits and all that stuff with Led Zeppelin, you know, and all that other stuff. And they would focus in on things of day-to-day -day life. And then in the eighties, it was all about, you know, fun. Then in the nineties, it was about, I'm sad. Well, that whole thing of I'm sad has kind of gone on for 30 years and it's kind of ended up killing itself because of that. I go to a rock show, man. I want to have fun. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to, I, I don't want that. 
And so this is one of the reasons why rock is dying. People, the people like the Katy Perry's of the world, they may be whacked out of their minds. The people like the Miley Cyrus's of the world may be whacked out of their minds. The Taylor Swift's, why are you still writing songs like a 13 year old girl that broke up with her boyfriend? That's what I want to know. You know, it's the same thing. The, these are the things that are, you know, it's poppy, catchy. You get the hook and all that stuff. Rock is dying. So you go and you get the call to go and do something on a movie that just based upon the subject matter of this really popular doll that was formed in what? The 1950s, 1960s Barbie. You're going to jump at that opportunity. You're going to jump at the opportunity, but at the same time, it also goes and hurts the credibility of rock music at that same time. Um, let's go and check out everybody we got in the chat over here. See what it is that you guys have to say in terms of this. We got Bob's Bird over there. He said, made it. Awesome. Good to see you there, Bob's Bird. Uh, Matthew Zizzo says, interesting. Yes. Yes. It's, it's like I'm teaching a class here. Interesting. Very interesting. Absolutely. Psychosocials in the house. Going to give him the thumbs up and the horns and all that stuff. Good to see you there, Psychosocial. You're not a part of the rewatch team today. You caught us live. That's awesome. And we got an extra long show for you guys here today. Like I said, I got to play catch up. I got to do what I got to do for my YouTube members, right? 